Hi, my name is Nick Cantor, head goalkeeping coach with STMA United, and today's topic is going to be goalkeeper positioning. We're going to have three different categories, horizontal positioning, vertical positioning, and the breakaway save. The first part of positioning that we're going to talk about today is horizontal positioning, or rather where I stand right to left as the ball is coming in. So with any shot that's moving slightly left to right across the field, we like to see the goalie shuffle into position, being careful not to cross over and not to bounce up and down, clicking the heels. So it's a short shuffle to get into position left to right. As we line up the angle, if the shot's coming from my left, we like to take an angle that cuts me in half between the ball and the center of the goal. If a ball comes at a sharper angle, we allow the, we allow the goalkeepers to cheat half a step towards the near post, simply because the ball is coming a little faster and less time to react. The second part of positioning is a little bit more complicated, and that's vertical positioning, or rather, how close to the goal should I stand, how far out should I come. We'll start with longer range shots, or maybe even balls that are out of range. When a ball is out of range, the goalie can come off of the goal line a little bit more aggressively and play as a deep sweeper. Again, this is only for when the ball is out of shooting range. As the ball enters the shooting range, usually a long distance shot is outside of the 18, again relative to the age and the gender of the players. For longer distance shots, we like to keep the keeper very close to the goal line, generally within a yard of the goal line. Longer shots are more likely to bend over the keeper, thus we stay closer to the line to give ourselves more time to react. As the ball enters the, the mid-range, or between the 18 yards and 8 yards, the keeper begins to take a little more aggressive angle. Now, there are no hard and fast rules as far as how much of an angle to come out. However, what we like to do is avoid what we call no man's land. No man's land is simply when the goalie is too close to the shot to react to it, but too far away to make a stuffing save. Generally, it's when a goalie takes too much of an aggressive angle. So hopefully what we're going to do here is we're going to give you a new angle. Um, you can see Roger is going to be our striker here. We're going to give you a different angle to show a little bit more positioning, what it might look like relative to my goal line and the shooter. So as you can see, Roger is going to start a little bit further out. This is what we'd call a long shot. Um, a little bit outside the 18, he's looking at maybe 20 yards or so. As Roger starts there, if you notice, I'm going to play pretty close to my goal line. As we mentioned earlier, maybe about a yard away. Um, most likely, if Roger's going to take a shot from out here, the ball's going to be bending in. We don't want the ball to go over our head, so we're going to start fairly conservative. Now, as Roger comes forward, yep, he comes forward. As he enters the 18, you're going to see the goalkeeper needs to reposition. We're going to take a little bit more of a, an aggressive angle and we have the shooter stop right there. Once again, I'm in my ready position, my feet are set, and I've now taken Roger's angle a little bit more away. Um, so from Roger's point of view, I've just made the goal look a little bit smaller. Again, I'm in my cowboy position, I got my hands ready right by my side. This kind of positioning is more for shots between the 8 yard mark and the 18 yard mark. Finally, as Roger comes closer, yes, he's now beating a defender and we're one on one. We'll have Roger stop there. Once again, and once we get into a one on one situation, the goalie comes out maybe to look to surprise the shooter first few steps might be big. I'm going to get low, my hands are going to come out, 
and as I approach Roger, my feet become shorter steps. We can either look to block Roger or maybe go for a breakaway smother. Breakaway smother, very similar to a dive, and then I get down. I'm going to shoot my hands past the ball, trying to block the ball with my wrist or my forearm and smother the ball towards my stomach. Hopefully Roger won't get that close to me, but that's what the breakdown would look like as he comes closer. The last part of goalkeeper positioning is the breakaway position. The breakaway position is used for when a ball is coming one-on-one -on -one with the goalie where a defender is either out of position or not in the picture. Breakaway position is a little bit different as far as the ready position goes. As the goalie comes out, we tend to get lower and our hands come out. Generally, if the ball is inside of eight yards, what we like to see the goalie do is that as the ball comes in and we see that a one-on-one -on -one situation is coming, we take our first few steps quickly, larger steps to surprise the shooter. As we approach the shooter, our, short, our steps become shorter and choppier. We get low and our hands come out. There's two things you can do on a close range one-on-one -on -one situation. And it's up to the goalie to, to decide. One, we can surprise the shooter if the shot is a little too far away, we can get set and hopefully stuff the ball or make a close range reaction save. The second thing we can do is if the goalie thinks they can get to the ball, we can do what we call the breakaway smother, which we'll talk about in a minute. What Roger and I are going to demonstrate now is a breakaway positioning. We have Roger coming down right in the middle of the field directly at me. Um, I'm going to be floating around in this area, ideally in the situation the ball is coming from outside of the shooting range. As I see that ball come in through our defenders, I recognize a one-on-one -on -one situation. Roger is now free for a breakaway. Now as Roger comes forward with the ball, yep, he's just received a ball. I'm going to make my first few steps are going to be big steps, hopefully to surprise Roger. In a game, if Roger's coming full speed, most likely his touches are going to be a little bit further out in front of him. So as I approach Roger here, again I'm going to get low. My hands are going to get low, most likely the shot is going to be a low shot. And as I approach Roger, when we do the, the breakaway smother, my back, or my feet, excuse me, are going to go towards the back post. My hands are then going to shoot past the ball, hopefully blocking the ball with the wrist or the forearm. As the ball hits my wrist, I'm going to scoot it in towards my stomach, get my knee up, and protect myself.